Well, I think we must always distinguish between the two terms possible and probable. A thing may be scientifically possible, but the probability of its occurring may be extremely small. To this time, there is no proof that I would consider valid scientific proof that we have been visited by spaceships. But I would say the great majority are balloons, meteorites, satellites, aircraft seen with the sun glinting off of them, and the birds. And then you then you get into a host of minor things. But in general, you can say that the IFOs, identified ones, have turned out to be generally quite usual things seen under unusual circumstances or surprising circumstances. If it's a global thing, what it is, uh, please don't ask me. I, I, I'm still of this might you might call me a study in puzzlement. But um, uh, that among the tremendous noise or static or crowd or whatever you want to call it, a tremendous number of unreliable reports that are easily explained, there is this residue of most interesting cases that intrigue me in the same way that a good mystery story intrigues me. And I'd like to get the solution. I don't think it is space people, although I would be delighted if it, if it turned out that way. But as an astronomer, I think it would make astronomy even more interesting than it is. And as far as the Air Force is concerned, I can't speak for them, of course, but I should imagine that if the, if that, if the existence of spacecraft were really established, it would really increase the appropriation of the Air Force. First of all, this business about being in cahoots is just simply a downright falsehood. And if they insist that 